Welcome in Karibuni to Aroma of Zanzibar. Today I'm going to share with you how I make my homemade whole wheat pita bread. Pita bread is uh, also known as how we used to call it as Arabic bread. It's been it's consumed in most of the Arab countries and nowadays it's not even Arab countries, it's everywhere. North Africa also, you know, there's a Arab influence over there and um, it's like I say, it's everywhere and um, I like, I I like to make mine at home when I have time and especially here where I don't have access to buying this as much as I would like to so I make mine at home and so here I've got some whole wheat flour some white purpose whole white purpose flour all purpose flour and I've got some yeast salt sugar some warm water and I'm gonna be using uh, olive oil okay let's get started okay for this recipe I'm gonna be just dumping everything in here and uh, you could use whole wheat all the way or you could use just white or you could do half and half whatever you prefer need about two tablespoons of that and I guess we're good okay so I'm gonna need this for about five minutes right just about right it's been about five minutes let's see and okay. gonna drizzle some olive oil in here so that the dough does not uh, get I mean it doesn't get stuck you need to allow your dough to to rise so and this goes in here we're gonna cover it and keep it for about more than an hour I guess so because the temperature over here is about 32 degrees Fahrenheit today so it's gonna take longer but I'm not in a okay, hurry we've got our dough ready here well risen it's it's taken more than the usual time like I say it's it was 32 degrees it hasn't inc increased much I mean decreased yeah increased much so now I'm gonna and uh, you want to divide this into whatever amount that you want depending on the size but for this measurement for a standard size you would get about six six pita bread I mean big ones It's kind of a little bit bigger size than the normal. And uh, we're going to keep this and cover it and let it rise again. Usually it's like about an hour or maybe 45 minutes less than that. But like I say, now the brown wheat, I mean the whole wheat flour, it takes longer to rise. So if you were to use the white one, it probably be faster. So, but you know, I'm not in a hurry. Okay. 
like I said, so we're gonna cover this and let it rise, okay? So these are ready and uh, I'm rolling them. You don't want them very thick, but uh, if you want them thick, it's okay. And um, you see I've put a lot of flour over there. It's because I like to have the, uh, the crack texture and crispier texture on my, on my pita. And you could use these pitas for anything, you know, eat them, make a sandwich, or you can actually do uh, pita chips, which are definitely beautiful. And um, we use them with meals, you know, just as a side dish. And they're just lovely, and uh, the wheat ones are definitely more healthier. And, um, well, that's about it. So I'm going to bake this at 450 degrees for about 5 to 6 minutes, okay? So here's my nice pita bread, well uh, puffed up like a balloon and uh, it's crispy outside and nice and moist inside and you see the pocket. Well for more please visit me at aromaofzanzibar.blogspot.com. Thank you and welcome again.